Hello, welcome. My name is Van. In the, today's tutorial, I'm going to highlight the importance of understanding percentage and reading it in context. Percentage of different bases cannot be added or subtracted. Bear that in mind. And in order to differentiate it, we have to use units and parts. Let's take a look at this question. There were some girls and boys at a carnival at first. 40% of the girls and 10% of the boys left the carnival. As a result, three quarters of the pupils remained at the carnival. There were 18 more boys than girls who remained at the carnival. So how many girls were there at first? So remember, you cannot add 40 to 10 or take 90 minus 60, whatever it is. No, because these two are referring to different bases, the girls and the boys. Okay, so how would I approach this question? First. Okay, for illustration, for understanding, I may want to draw a model. But you can actually skip the model part if you understand this very simple concept of the units and parts in order to differentiate the two different bases. Okay, so start off with drawing the model for the total number of pupils. We are told that three quarters of the pupils remain at a carnival. So I will use four, four parts to represent the total number of pupils. Since uh, three quarters remain, so one quarter left. Clear? And for the girls, we were told that 40% of the girls, so what is 40% as fraction? So it's reduced to the simplest form would be 2 over 5. So 2 fifth of the girls left. So 2 fifth, looking at the denominator, again student, you will know that you use 5 units. So let's call it 5 units, make it great to represent the girls. And and then let's, like, like what I said just now, in order to differentiate our core 5 units, and let's look at the boy now. For the boys, we are told that 10% of the boys left. So 10% reduces um, as a fraction will be 1 over 10. Looking at denominator 10, I will call it 10 parts. And then now, I'm going to plug in the red and the blue into the purple. <laughs> That's what it becomes. Okay, so we are told that 40% of the girls and 10% of the boys left the carnival. And that is actually one quarter of the pupils. So 2 fifths disappear and then one unit uh, I'm sorry one part two units and one part disappear to form your one quarter of the pupils so of course whatever that is left refers to those remain at the carnival so three units and nine parts will make up the the rest of the three quarter of the pupils right so you may ask what's next <laughs> because we have to find the relationship between the units and parts so that we can express all either in terms of units or all in terms of parts okay so now what's next take a look here we were told that one quarter of pupil is uh two units plus one part alternatively uh, the other way to see is that the remaining three quarter of the pupils is three units plus nine parts so now here, this is where I want to uh, draw to your attention. Just imagine there are three groups of them. Okay, three quarter, three groups of them. I want to make it, I only want one group because I only want one quarter of the pupils. And I'll explain why later. So in order to make it one quarter, I have to divide by three. So you have to divide by the three throughout. So three units divided by three, nine parts divided by three. All right, you see this point? So. Then what is one quarter? It becomes one unit plus three parts. Clear? So this is why I want to make to one quarter because I have two of the same nature. One quarter of them. Okay? So now I'm making equal comparison because I'm saying one quarter to one quarter of pupils and take a look at the fact that there are two different ways to express them. So rearranging the model again. Okay, this is how you look like. Can you see what I see? If you can't, it's all right because side by side, you may not be able to make sense of anything. But if I were to put them on top of each other, do you see what I see now? So the same thing. So in this case, I think it's pretty obvious right now. One unit is actually equal to two parts. 
Okay, but of course you may argue that oh well because do do did you know the answer so the model is perfect, and with that I can actually solve. Um, yep, that's actually the limitation with model. At at times you may see that, um, it may not be so useful. So what do you do? Never mind. Just remember if. By right, you don't need to draw model actually. You can just call the girls five units, boys one part, and we'll still reduce to the same two units plus one part and one unit plus three parts for one quarter of pupils. And in order to find out how they are related, you can draw model in this case, two equal model to signify the one quarter of pupils. And first expression, two units plus one, one part. The other expression, one unit plus three parts. Do you see that? Now, without having to draw the so-called accurate model, you can actually know or find out that important information here. That is, one unit equals to two parts. With that, we have solved the whole question because this is the, 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 the crux of the whole question. If we are able to come to this conclusion, one unit equals to two parts, that's it. We're on our way to solve the question. So, refresh our memory again. This is what we have uh, found out. Initially, as what I said just now, since we have found out this important information, 1u equals to 2p, so right now just substitute inside, this is what we'll get. For the girls, instead of 5u, we'll have 10 parts. Okay, so take away the difference, what do we have? 3 parts. So 3 parts will be equal to 18, because we are told that 18 more boys, so what is 1 part? And if you know 1 part is 6, 10 parts is 60, so... Basically, they have the same number of uh, or equal number of children at first. So that's it. Uh, common units and parts question. Remember, why we want to use units and parts is to differentiate the two bases. Get it? So no, no. If you were to subtract forty, uh, you know, or you will subtract ten percent from forty or whatever it, you you want to. Okay, that's the end. I hope you have learn something. Okay, have a nice day. See you.